Let's talk about how we can integrate x squared plus 1 over x minus 3 times x minus 2 to the second power. And you guessed it, we have to do partial fraction to break down this big giant fraction into some smaller ones. And if you would like to know how to do partial fraction, please click right here. And don't forget to subscribe as well. Anyways, you do partial fraction so you can get from here to here. And now, if you look at these three two fractions, we can just integrate them turn by turn. And it's going to be much easier as well. For the first one, let's write down number, we have 10. And then something over x minus 3. The antiderivative for that will be ln, absolute value, x minus 3. And you check the derivative of the inside, right, uh, on the denominator. The derivative of x minus 3 is just 1, so you don't need to divide by anything else, okay? And for the second part, let's write down number first, which is negative 9. And then we have something over x minus 2, so the antiderivative for that will be ln, absolute value, x minus 2. And once again, the derivative of the bottom, which is just 1, and we don't need to divide, right? Because dividing more 1 doesn't really matter. But anyways, for this one, maybe I will show you guys by some like uh, substitution on the side. So for the antiderivative of 5, we'll integral, well, let's put a negative 5 over x minus 2 squared dx. I will do some substitutions. So let's say u equal to x minus 2, du will be the same as dx. So in another word, this is the same as bring the negative 5 in the front. We have the integral 1 over u, du, and well, 1 over u squared, and this is the same as negative 5 integral of u to the negative 2, du, and then we plus 1, and negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1, and we divide it by negative 1. And there will be positive 5 now, so let me emphasize it's positive 5, and you have u to the negative 1 power, which is 5, it's positive 5 right here, and then this is 1 over u. And u is what? u is x minus 2. So for the third part, I, I include the negative right here already, so altogether it turns out to be positive. So we have plus 5, 1 over u, which is 1 over u is x minus 2, and then we are done, plus z. Of course, you can put a 5 on the top, doesn't really matter. This right here is the answer.